Oh, oh, f you and the winner is. I make a lot of drawing tutorials in the studio, but I don't really know how effective they are. So I thought we'd turn off two of the people that I work with every day and see whether they might learn something from the tutorials that we make. On the left side, we have Pam, who's a professional artist. And we're pitting Pam against Robin, who's not a professional artist. Robin and Pam are gonna be following one of my drawing tutorials and they are gonna try and learn as much as they can and then we're gonna compare. Okay, John, how are we feeling? From a competition perspective, I think um, I'm gonna put my money on Pam with this one just because this is her career. She does this for a living. I am a little bit worried about people's expectations. A fine art degree does not really um, cater to observational drawing. Okay, Rob, you've come into this definitely not as a favorite, but you're looking very confident. Can you tell me why you're feeling so confident? At the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of. People have underestimated me my entire life. <laughs> I think grade two was probably the last time I drew something. Look, I mean, the people's favorite is Rob. <laughs> I might not be the drawing champion, but I'm the people's champion. <laughs> Yeah. The, how, how is it actually going to go? Like, uh, I have no clue. You need to tell me that. So they're going to follow the art tutorial for one hour and then uh, John is going to come back after the one hour and do a blind reaction, try and guess who did what and who did better. The things I'm going to be looking for are accuracy, uh, how well they followed instruction. The proof is going to be in the pudding. We're going to have to see this when it's finished, but I'm really I'm excited to, to be surprised. Your time starts now. I find it difficult to listen to him and draw. I find it difficult to listen to him in general, but... <laughs> Your arcs are so hard. It's an arc. An arc? It's so, like an arc to get a good arc. Oh. Gosh, what if this actually turns out good? You are doing cross-hatching. Well, I'm sorry. He doesn't specify. Shade, how you know? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna pull out of the bag here, Nothing. Pamela? Okay, Robs. Mm. Halfway through the process. I know, my eye looks like this. I'm quite excited <laughs> about it. I don't know, I'm a little bit worried how he's gonna judge them. My mark making is very different to his. With hyperrealism, it's all about how accurate or like how exact it looks to the reference. I think my pieces are actually looking better than I expected it to. Mm. Honestly, I thought I was going to fail so hard, but so far my drawing looks more like Chano's video than Pam's does. She's sneaking up on me, to be honest. Um, I do find myself trying to help her a lot though. Pam has been getting on my nerves. She keeps on micromanage my drawing. You saw it like go back there there and then down. I wouldn't go too hard because we're just mapping here. Yeah, but I want to help you too. Do you think she's trying to throw you off so she can get an advantage? I think so because our drawings look extremely different. Pencils down, pencils down, pencils down. Oh, no. down. Johnny, you may enter okay. the space. Okay. okay. Cool. So, our contestants did very well. They put their all in, blood, sweat, and tears. Mm. So, now we have option A and option B. Okay. I just need your very succinct reviews of the two pieces okay. and your adjudication. All Three, right. two, one. This person here used a lot of like marks with the graphite and ran out of time. This one, the marks have all been kind of blended in. Huge emphasis on the blending, almost a bit, well, like too much. So like the problem with both of these is that they rushed as well, which makes sense because they both just had an hour to do it. Whereas I think that was like three hours. This looks like professional mark making and there is something interesting in the mark making. There is like a sophistication here, which I'm starting to really enjoy. It's just very different to what I'm looking for. And this is really well finished. The, the shading is done really well. Whoever did this was not afraid of going really dark and that's great. Something that both of them missed that I think would have 
really brought it to the next level was giving a harsh highlight for the light reflection in the eye. Having that highlight interrupt the iris a little bit would have made it feel, given it a, a three-dimensional feel. So guys, this is the artwork that won. Three, two, two, and the one. winner is... No! So it looks like this one followed the brief a lot more. We're trying to do a realistic eye when I look at the proportions. This one was a lot more in proportion. It's difficult to compare the two because I feel like these are just very different artworks. But if we're looking at just like making the best use of the techniques described in the video, this one did that. And did you guys find the video? No, useless. I did. I did. I followed it to a T. And that's why you that won. That's why I won. Yeah. Underdog to champion. From nothing to something, zero to hero, baby. How Here's are you feeling? <laughs> Here's the trophy. The inaugural Jono Dry Art of How are you feeling? I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> oh my god, that's a trophy. <laughs> I know I'm the people's champion, I'm the people's princess, and today I prove that. <laughs> Is this going to inspire you to do any more drawing in your day to day? Actually, maybe, because I actually really had a lot of a lot more fun than I thought I would, to be honest. I'm so happy. Yeah. That's really cool. I might actually go and draw your other two tutorials. <gasps> That'd be very sweet.